what inspired me to become a beekeeper? I've always had a respect for some of the smaller things in life. And growing up, I actually had a horse that we kept on a horse farm that was 3,000 acres. And on the horse farm, there was a certain area that I was instructed to try to avoid for my own safety. And of course, as a kid, I had to break the rules. But in that spot on this farm, there were multiple beehives lined up in a perfect row and I was so fascinated with watching the bees fly in and out so I always knew that when I had an opportunity to become a beekeeper and have my own bees here on my own homestead What's the toughest part about becoming a beekeeper? I would say in the beginning, the toughest part about becoming a beekeeper is the fear of failure. There is so many techniques out there when it comes to beekeeping and there are so many different ways to do it. When you're a new beekeeper, you're just overwhelmed with trying to keep this organism alive. So I, I think the toughest part about becoming a beekeeper is the fear of failing. There is something that I try to encourage all new beekeepers, all any beekeeper really, anybody, whether you're fairly new to beekeeping or if you've been doing it for a little while, you're gonna lose a colony at some point. Whether it's to any factor. I mean, there's a list, you name it. But in the end, I think it's all about your mindset. But the fear of failure shouldn't stop you. And I've told many people along the way that if you lose a colony, the ultimate end result is you didn't fail. You have to think about what the bees are doing and their purpose. And their purpose is to go out and pollinate. So. Even if you might have lost a colony, you're not a failure. And your bees went out and they did exactly what they were supposed to do. And that's to pollinate. What's the most rewarding thing about keeping bees? <laughs> there are many rewards. Obviously the honey is such a blessing, but other than honey, they do so much for our homestead. And the fact that they can go out and pollinate and be a vital influence for not just my family and I, but also for our livestock. So I would say the most rewarding thing about keeping bees is all of the above. Here's a good one. How many times have I been stung? I'm gonna say that that answer is a number ending in ish. But if I could estimate, I pretty much am stung once a month, maybe twice, depending on the mood of my girls that day.
do I have a favorite beekeeping story? I would say my favorite beekeeping story so far was going to a house where a colony, a honeybee colony resided in the wall for 25 years. Now, the story is the grandfather didn't mind the bees living in the house. He passed away and left the house to his granddaughter. And, and when they started the process of renovation, they knew that they were gonna face those bees. So we were called and we went and we did a complete colony cutout and salvaged all the bees and brought them back here to our farm. And now I have been able to split them probably up to six or seven times right now and make six or seven generations of that colony. Now here's the fun part. We were able to document that story, my mom and my dad and I, and put it out on YouTube for all to share. But this is the part that probably is the most special to me. The granddaughter has now become a beekeeper. Welcome home, girls. Then that story probably has to be one of my favorite beekeeping stories. But it's not quite finished yet. <laughs>